Yo! Welcome, welcome, welcome y'all to Yin Vision, where we talk about positivity, mindset, and everything that builds you up as a person so you can achieve the things you want to achieve in life, okay? Today, is this is out of focus a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Today, we're going to talk about building your inner wall. What does that mean? I'm talking about privacy, okay? And what better way to actually protect your privacy than to cognitively, in your mind, visualize all the people that are important to you in your life that you trust, right? That's the most important part, the two things. The most important people in your life and you trust them, okay? Those are the people in your inner circle. They can be behind the wall, okay? The people outside of the wall is another layer. They're people who you could talk to about certain things, but you wouldn't tell them every single thing. You wouldn't tell them everything. Again, remember, everything in your life, right, is up to you, okay? When you want information to come out, that's your choice, okay? You have to choose, you, you choose who you delegate, right? Who you delegate that information to. And then you have to also think to yourself, who do they trust, right? Are they a good source of character are they somebody who could just keep it you know to themselves when you tell them something or are they somebody who's a chatterbox you know somebody who kind of spreads a little gossip somebody who tells everything that's going on you have to not only filter for that person for you know trusting them to keep that information but also them trusting enough to not give that information to somebody else it's like two layers to that you could trust them yourself but you know them trusting other people happens all the time people give out information they think oh we can i can tell the other person they, they can keep a secret and then all of a sudden everybody knows okay so here's what you do on a piece of paper you write down all the people who matter to you that you trust and you know they can keep a secret whatever it is okay this is generally about stuff that's you know uh uh serious things that you don't want people to know about like uh uh, you, you're sick, you, you have an illness that you discovered from the doctor, and maybe you have a, some time to live, you know, God forbid, right? But you don't want everybody to know, oh my God, so-and-so has cancer. Like, that would be terrible, right? That's your privacy. So maybe you tell somebody in your family that you trust, that you know they won't tell anybody, and you talk about it, and that's like your form of therapy, really. You're trying to vent and say, this is happening. I got to reorganize. What do I do? Maybe it's a mentor in your family. Maybe it's your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, older sister, older brother. Maybe it's your aunt. That's fine. I don't care what the label is. I care that you've already made that, ass that assessment, that you trust them, and they are somebody who won't give that information to somebody else, and they are important to you, okay? So once you've written all those people down, you never tell anybody else the, the biggest important things in your life, right? The big, dangerous, you know, most pertinent information, right? And then, of course, obviously, the most important, like most dangerous stuff, whatever it is, God forbid, it's a bad thing. But any of those things that are like, you know, you don't want coming out, some things are for you. So you keep maybe a small percentage like maybe 10 percent 20 percent maybe 30 percent it could even be 50 percent. that's fine you keep it to yourself and then the next 50 percent is something you delegate out oh yeah hey you know i uh uh i, I uh, i'm depressed or whatever it is you know you tell that to your your mom or your dad or your brother and then they work with you on you know kind of walk them through this whole journey of what you got to do to fix that problem whatever it is or maybe they're just there to console you maybe that's the kind of person they are the next group is like close friends right that's those are the people you kind of have to really vet the best you can you know uh this is uh those th that's one of those like ephemeral areas so you write that down in your mind maybe you write it on paper i say always write it on paper because if it's visual you see it it's a lot easier to understand like where your levels are at, right? It's real to you now, it's more physical to you now. You're more likely to follow it, right? The next level, the next one are like your acquaintances, friends, so-called friends, whatever, social circle. And that those are the people you guard yourself a little bit. You know, you keep a guard, you keep some privacy. Because at, at the end of the day, again, a lot of drama comes from people not assessing what their circles are, like they messed up their circles. They missed, messed up where the wall is, right? I always say the wall has to be between your inner circle, your family or 
your most important people, and then the friends, in my opinion. They could be outside if that's your thing, that's fine, everyone's different, but I personally go with the, here's the wall, here's the people, and then here's everybody else, right? The outside, the outside world, which is very more catered, more, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, calculated maybe if you want to say it that way, uh, or you could just go full blown. You don't care what people think, but if you don't care what people think and that's fine, I, again, this isn't even about what people think. This is more about, you know, protecting your inner mindset, right? You're trying to keep things that to you matter private. That's for you. You know, this is self-validation again, again, when you have self-validation, you don't you don't care what other people think. You care about what goes out there because it's your privacy, right? Privacy is the is the principle of the thing. It's your business. Why well, you give it up to everybody? It's none of their business, you know. I, I do this show, for example. I don't go around, you know, uh, what you call it. I don't go around putting it in people's faces. If they discover it, great, you know. Uh, if people if new people find it, great. That's kind of the thing. It's about where your where's your line, you know, and how do you uh, designate that? And did you designate that correctly? That's what your job is. You have to figure that out. So that's my uh, opinion. What is your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Bye.